Welcome to the Josh Cast. I'm your host Josh with my co-host Josh back with take three with my uh, special guest, Mr. Vice President Owen Rich. Glad to be here. Yeah, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, uh, just tell tell us uh, some things about you, just some get to know you stuff. A little bit about me. Uh, I'm Owen Rich, and I am in the. I'm w- really involved in the band program here uh, with Mr. Parker. He um, I'm the drum major for the marching band, which has been really, was, was really fun and will be really fun this upcoming year. And I'm also in the uh, theater program, uh, Once Upon a Mattress. Right on. Uh, who are you playing? Uh, in Once Upon a Mattress, I am the minstrel. He's kind of like a magician-y kind of guy. He travels a lot, but he's kind of the overall narrator of the story, so. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be really yeah. fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll... Just dive deep into the questions now. Uh, uh, what are some things that you like? What is what does the vice president do? So the vice president is kind of the understudy for the president. So if he's not available, then I'll I'll step up for however long and mainly sign papers. I think. Yeah. Um, but you know, just kind of run things if the president's not available, and also uh, being. Be just and be involved in the school activities. I think that goes for all ASB officers. Yeah, like, like what kind of papers are you signing? <laughs> um, I think it might be some financial stuff, like for you know, hey, can the basketball get new jerseys or something like? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just sign them. You don't, yeah. you don't have to read them. Sign out whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah. Next question. Um, what made you want to run for vice president? So, one of the. One of my friends, Elena Bell, she actually presented the you know, opportunity to run, and I, I was like, mm, maybe. So I, I kind of did some looking into it, uh, went to Mr. Conrad, asked a few questions, and it sounded like something kind of right up my alley. And so, you know, got got rolling, went to, did campaign week and everything, and here I am. Yeah. Uh, speaking of campaign, uh, you had a very interesting uh campaign uh video uh-huh yeah. it was really entertaining <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> probably one of the reasons why you, you got elected too i think it i think really so yeah. works yeah <laughs> so uh just tell us like the thought process behind that kind of stuff like so i was obviously on a moped in the school yeah um we've had that moped for a while now and uh it's just sitting on our garage and so my, i think my mom brought up was like why don't you ride in a, on a moped um, because we'd been watching some videos online about like different stu- student candidates and their videos. And so we're like, maybe we should incorporate that. And so I asked uh, Mr. Hart if I could, you know, drive a moped in the school. And he said yes. Just I set a few ground rules and we shot it in I think about an hour. Um, had that down, kind of downtown Macklemore kind of vibe. So, yeah. Yeah, it, w- it was really fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Spacing out again. <laughs> <laughs> um oh. What what is the first thing you're going to do? Like first thing I really want to incorporate, or not incorporate, but here the student body. Um I want I I do want to incorporate Google Forms into that somehow. Um like have a questionnaire, I'm not sure like just posted around the school. We've done that a few times already with different things. Um, and I think it's just a really great way to not having to go up to somebody and be like, hey, I wanted this, this, and this, because some people don't know who to go to. So just having that, like a QR code posted around the school and then we can answer like, what do you what do you want to see or something? And I think it'd be really, really great to hear the student body that way. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll, that'll really work out. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, uh, <laughs> have you started like working on like a uh, like Verde Loco? Uh, w- what are the kinds of things that we're gonna expect to see tomorrow? So for Verde Loco, uh, j- we're, tomorrow's the kickoff assembly. Obviously, uh, we have a lot of lots of stuffs gonna be happening during that. Uh, I'm pretty sure the indoor percussion uh, group will be playing, uh, and the indoor color guard group will be uh, will be performing as well, and. Then I think a lot of information is going to be out there, but also a lot of, you know, hyping up, cheering yeah. and stuff. Um, but t- uh, tomorrow should be like a, you know, big party, I think. Yeah, yeah. It sounds really fun. I'm going to be performing in uh, the percussion group. 
Same, same, same here. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be in the color guard. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Uh, what's your, like, main goal now that uh, you're, you've been elected, and how are you going to accomplish it? Main goal is, again, here in the student body, I think we need to build a lot of culture. Obviously, it's a new school. You know, we haven't been open very long. So building a ton of culture, um, you know, banding the, the students together, getting people to know each other, and just having that, you know, voice crack again. Holy smokes. <laughs> um, but having, like, that big, just a, that big, you know, community, big high school community where people want to want to come to school. Yeah. Uh, that, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, like, the big deep question, uh, how are you going to change the school? Well, right now, I don't think we have much change besides the school lunches, I think. Um, Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people agree with that. Yeah. Um, but I think it's less about change, more about build. Uh, so we we really just need to build up people people's relationships with the staff and each other and, um, you know, get people to know each other, have start traditions. You know, Verde Loco is going to be one of them, and that's going to be, like, super fun. And, you know, more will come uh, soon enough. So, yeah. Uh, it's not kind of like a controversial question. Uh, creamy or chunky peanut butter? I have to go with creamy. I once was a chunky man. Uh, <laughs> that sounds way <laughs> weird. Uh, I once was a chunky peanut butter guy, but I I've, I've came, ba- came back to the good side and went with creamy. Yeah, I I born and raised crunchy. Yeah. What about you, Josh? Um, crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. Crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> she's good. <laughs> yeah. Crunchy's the best. It's you, you gotta go crunchy. Uh, would you rather have pizza rolls or pizza bagels? Pizza rolls. I don't know. There's yeah. Something about them just makes them just something like mm. Totino's kind yeah. of. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, Totino's pizza rolls. That was the greatest. Delicious. The greatest. <laughs> Immaculate. You're like drooling over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about that crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> um, what is something you like that most people don't? Something I like. Oh, man. The hard questions are coming out now. I don't know. Hmm. I'd say I like. I think most days I like coming to school. I don't think pe- a lot of people do. I feel like there are a few, but I think for the most part, another voice crack there. I think for the most part, I like coming to school just to see with hanging out with friends. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree on that. Like, it's it's actually pretty nice going to school. There's some classes that are kind of draggy. Kinda yeah, like, like oh, I have to go to third period or something. Yeah, or fourth period, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, so unfortunately, I think we have to wrap it up now. Uh, so we we have one more question that we ask everyone who comes on the podcast. Uh, it's really important. It's like a life kind of question. Understood, uh, yeah. Uh, and it really says about everything about your character, uh-huh. and it's really important, and it uh, could make or break your career. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that question is, uh, what part of the sandwich are you? Since we're already on the topic of peanut butter, I think I'll be creamy peanut butter in the sandwich, 100%, hands down. Hold it together. H- hold know? that. Hold the sandwich together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So is it like, what what kind of sandwich is it? PB and J or is it like peanut butter on like a turkey sandwich kind of thing? Oh man, like a, peanut a butter and turkey. I haven't I haven't. Tried I've never that. tried it either. I haven't but. tried that either. <laughs> <laughs> I think for the mo- I think it's I think it's peanut butter and Nutella. Peanut butter just and Nutella. Peanut butter and chocolate, just so good. Yeah, like a Reese's. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, top notch. Anyway. uh we're, we got to wrap it up now. So uh, see you next week on the Josh cast. And uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs>